Let me give you a scenario real quick. You are a high school student who goes to a school. I know, it's a shocker, right? But just hear me out. Where these five girls all have a crush on you. However, the catch is, they're all quintuplets. And one of them is your childhood crush, but now you can't figure out which is which because they won't tell you. What do you do? Well, that's basically the plot of Quintessential Quintuplets. Now, Quintessential Quintuplets has concluded its series with the movie that just released back in May of last year. However, the series has just released a new trailer for what appears to be a reboot off of the original. So I'm going to break it down for you as quickly as possible so you know what to expect from this upcoming series. So I guess spoilers for the Quintessential Quintuplets series. So if you don't want to get spoiled, just click off now. Now, the trailer has described this show as being less of a reboot and more of a side story for the series, where it shows arcs and shots from the manga that weren't exactly included in the anime or they were really rushed through. However, from the trailer, we see that there are clips that reveal that there will be scenes from the original series that are reanimated, shown with Nino having long hair in the shot towards the end, as well as the pool and beach scenes that were in the movie. My guess is that it will probably be both, being a two seasons reboot with 36 episodes total, so about 18 episodes per season. This is due to the terrible pacing that came from the original series as a lot of the moments and arcs were either cut or rushed through due to scheduling by the industry. Having it be a two seasoned reboot with 36 episodes would not only give you more content that we've already seen and enjoyed, but you'll also get it with much better pacing and fluid animation. Because speaking of that, let's get into the animation and art style. Now looking at the art style, it definitely seems to be a mix of both styles from seasons 1 and 2. And personally, I definitely prefer this style. Season 1's style looks so nice and it made all the sisters look so detailed and unique, while also keeping their facial structure similar enough to not be able to identify who was who if they all dressed the same. An example being the Nino shower robe scene. The characters just seemed way more mature looking and definitely leaned into the beautiful type aesthetic, if you know what I mean by that. But with season 2, I felt like they just wanted to lean into more of a cutesy, simplistic style, and I felt like this change has made the characters seem more childlike. But this new style appears to be a mashup, bringing in the more defined features of the characters while still keeping the majority of the original color palette. It really makes this show feel more like a high school romance anime. And looking at the motions and expressions on the characters as opposed to the movie and season 2, the characters definitely look more expressive and alive. The lighting is also definitely a touch that I loved about season 1, and the side story seems to be implementing it in the same exact way, and it looks amazing. If you're interested in checking out the trailer for yourself, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you to go check it out. And because I forgot to mention, this series comes out July 14th, 2023, so about 3 weeks after I upload this video, the series will come out. But what do you guys think about the new trailer, and what do you guys think about the series? Will it be a reboot, will it be a side story, or will it be both? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content just like this.